I'm Jackie. Um, I'm a singer. I'm born in Uganda through Sweden. I live in Berlin at the moment um, and I just released my new album Fly High, uh, my fifth solo album um, which is released in France on the 29th of September this year. So um, welcome to my world. <laughs> Berlin, actually I didn't, I chose Berlin more as a place, you know, not necessarily Germany, but Berlin as a place, because for me it's a very multicultural place to be. Um, people are really, um, you interact a lot, you know, with different cultures and different nationalities and different way of thinking. And as an artist, this is a very good place to be, you know, because it helps your openness to stay open, you know, and it allows you to um, to develop and to grow and to experiment and um, it gives you this space Berlin so this is where I chose I feel so good about it all today it turns out I will have the best day of my life burn so hard believing is the only way burn so hard believing is the only way and Uganda for me is, is a place where I'm rooted, you know, when I need to find um, my roots and my... Uh, it's a very big part of my identity, of course, because um, I spent my first 13 years in this country, in this place. Um, and I go there to, to, re, to retouch, to touch base, you know, with myself, with my uh, spiritual side of, of existence and... Um, and it's my, it's, it's, my, it's my other side, you know, the person you see in front of you is, is very formed and very defined by, by uh, this routing, you know, Uganda and Kampala and my skin colour, you know, um, my mimic <laughs> is very much from there also, so yeah. I usually tend not to, to tie myself to one group of people. You know, I like the idea of, of staying open, you know, and having friends from everywhere, you know, because this is for me the place that helps me grow. You know, it doesn't limit me until like you have to be with us. So I really spread out my energy to people that are giving me positive vibes. You know, this is what I follow in my, in my lifestyle. Every day is a miracle and you better be With music, of course, I travel a lot. Um, I also like before the children, I was traveling quite a lot, a lot to the Caribbean, a lot to the African continent, um, and yeah, places where I find there is culture. Mm. Culture. I follow culture. <laughs> I like going to places where there is um, um, African influence, definitely. Um, a, a lot of uh, the black community is for me a place where I, I energize a lot, you mm. know, and I feel like I grow. I feel like I root, you know, so it kind of lifts me up and at the same time grounds me, you know, so I, I get this, 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 this lengthening of myself, mm. of, my, of, of my inner self. So I, I actually prefer to travel into places where there's a lot of black people. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You know, because usually, usually the, the the differences are not so much. You know, you kind of directly connect and you understand, and you know, like the the system, and and I feel at home. Every day is a miracle, and you better, better hold on. I think all my albums are very therapeutic they have this function for me but this one um, it will be a very special one because it catches me in a place in life where I I start to take charge of of what I want to put out there more and more and because of their past experiences this has helped me give me a more confidence and more trust 
um, and a lot of elements, more spirituality, and I, I dig more and more into spirituality nowadays. You know, I read a lot, I meditate a lot, I am practicing a lot of of of, of Eastern Eastern philosophies, and 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 um, because I find that this is a very important uh, dimension in in the lifestyle that I prefer to live. I, I, I'm comparing this album with my first album that I released as the first project. Um, I would say that I'm, it's the album that I'll probably be very, very proud of. Um, just like the first album I did in my life, you know, because it has a special, special energy, the first album you do. And this album feels like it's, it's the beginning of a new phase in my mm -hmm. career. And um, I'm born again, exactly. It feels a bit like this. And I'm very proud of it because it was, it took every single effort of me to get it done you know um, and it was one of the most challenging projects I've done in my life every day is a miracle and you better better hold on The more I, I make the music, the more I realize that it's more about me communicating with the people that are going to listen to the album. So it's important for me to to trust that people are, are going to to take this this baby and and make it their own in a way that's um, that's true to them. You know. So it's about like transmuting energy the whole time. You know, you exchange, mm -hmm. you exchange, you exchange. And I need to. For me, it's important to have this um, this this respect to myself and to the fans you know, and in life it's it's really important to 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 trust you know you have to trust because if you don't trust then you, you cannot create you know you cannot mm -hmm. uh, you cannot open up you know and the more I open up the more I realize that it's it's a very uh, rewarding thing to do you know because mm -hmm. because you start exchanging information with each other Every day is a miracle and you But Sola's dance came in a way that um, she she actually started the first notes of the song, you know, because she was just playing like children. It's mm -hmm. very, very, very simple layout in a way. And she was, uh, so I came inside and she was sitting on the piano with her dad and she was like, and I found that really nice, you know, so I was like, we have to record this really fast, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and we have to make a song. And, um, and I felt like it was a good way to honor her existence, you know, and, and, and the way she, she's helped me grow and she's helped me um, become a very more uh, caring person, you know. Children tend to do this to you because you stop thinking about yourself too much and you start um, um, you open up and they open up your world and this is what Zola for me did she taught me so much about myself and um, so I kind of want I wanted to give her a tribute that she would um, she would know that this is what um, how she makes me feel you know um, and the smaller one still doesn't have a song <laughs> this one will come in its own time um, but uh, for Zola, this was like a right moment to get this song. Um, um, yeah. It's been a process for me where I had to convince quite a lot, you know, because I come from from a maybe a, may, a very conservative side of of, of lifestyle, and um, I had to work on this, you know, quite a lot to be like this is actually what I really want to do. And um, what I realized is that you know, a family is important, but family should never dictate uh, your passion. You know, if you have a passion, you should actually really go for it. So my job as a mother today is to 
channel my children. I don't own them. You know, they don't belong to me. They belong to the universe. So it's like I'm just a channel to, to, to help the children figure out what they, uh, their way, you know, their path mm. in life. So this is for me how I always looked at it. And um, since I was a small child, I always thought that uh, grown-ups need to understand that uh, we are children are not children are very smart we even if I'm a child I'm a very smart person you know even if it doesn't make sense to you but in my little world of five years it makes a lot of sense for me And you left all your sorrows behind Loving every second and every minute of your symphony But I think it's important for these children because they have my children have a very rich possibility in life, you know, they have the possibility to, to, to have their German heritage which is from their dad and then uh, they have also the possibility to have my heritage you know, and this is a big richness and um, I would like them to to have this acknowledgement you know to, to have like good friends you know so I take them there they make their own friends you know because mm. I have friends who have children now and and they, they, they make their little friendships mm -hmm. there they have their friendships there and, and this is this is rich you can use this to your to enrich your life yeah? Yeah, sure. not everybody has this possibility so it's a uh, a blessing for them. Uh. You met with your friends, everybody's in the sun, ready for seduction. Tuning the mice to the sweet, sweet, sweet and see. I think the preparation is usually that that we have we have rehearsed the songs and we play the songs in different uh, setups, big, small, um, and this helps me to. Um, I also I also have the this trust of the people that are with me on stage, you know, because when we are in this comfortable place with each other, then we can uh, relax more. Um, and what I always try to do nowadays is actually not think too much I go in I feel the energy of the room and then I start from there interested in, in, in staying open with the, with the public, you know, with the fans and the people that come to these shows to watch the music that I do are people that are with me, it's friends, yeah, it's people that, um, that trust me, that trust what I do, that support what I do um, and I think this is a very, um, it's a good space, it's, it's like a living room, I try to make everything like a living room, let's get cozy now, you know, mm -hmm. or let's get fiery or uh, of course, it depends on my mood of the day also, you know, uh, this, this dictates a lot. Um, but I can't explain it. It's, 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 this is where you really cannot explain the power of music. Up in the club, there's nothing but love. Everybody's in a funky, funky, funky mood. And the cheeks are doing there. It's it's a it's an album that's been um, a big journey for me, you know. And sometimes I feel like I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I feel like what am I doing? You know, it doesn't make sense. I don't have the money to support this and that. I don't have the energy. I'm, you know, and 
And so I wrote lullaby actually for uh, to always like remember her, uh, you know, about why I started and, and why I do this and, and you know and so I kind of swing myself mm -hmm. too. Um, but I also wrote it, of course, in the sense that um, this can be a song for all of us, you know, because life is like this, it's, it goes in waves. Mm. I'll give you some words, mm. and for every word you give me some meditation. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Africa. Hmm. Earth. Human race. Strange. Lyrics. Therapy. Politic. Um. Power to the people. Family. Zola Pepa. <laughs> <laughs> Trip. Trip. Mozambique. Fly. Hi. <laughs> tradition. Uh, yeah, tradition. Tradition. Uh, dance. Black skin. Beautiful. A billion day. Ah. Soul sister. <laughs>